Hey everybody and welcome back to Ripping for Ripkins. It is Corey and we're back with another baseball video tonight. 1989 BBC E authenticated box of Bowman. Looking for the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card of course and many others as I build this set. I don't have this set completed in my binder yet. So I am going to rip this box and we're going to look for these Rookie cards, which includes not only Ken Griffey Jr., but John Smoltz and Gary Sheffield. Uh, Tino Martinez, I guess. This was the return of Bowman. I think this was called the Comeback Edition when it released back in 1989. But it is a BBC e-box, as you can see. It is authenticated by Mr. Steve Hart as a 1989 Bowman Baseball Unopened Wax Box, which will no longer be the case as I am tearing the covering off right now. So welcome back to 1989. And let's get into it. Look at this. Beautiful packs. These, of course, are the larger cards they didn't sell as well because the cards are about a quarter inch longer than the uh the standard trading cards so they do not fit into nine pocket sheets and top loaders the way that other cards do so they did hurt their sales the gum actually looks pretty good but we're going to spare the details of the gum chewing and we're going to rip into it so Right off the bat, you get to see the design. Dave Rigetti. Right there right off the top. And the Bowman reprints will also be in, included in each pack. Mr. Dickie Thon. Nolan, or J Nolan Ryan. Jamie Moyer. There are the Bowman reprints right there. The Ted Williams. Take a look at the the back of the reprint checklist Wally Backman and Mr. Andy Van Slyke so we are off and running with 89 Bowman which has been a theme on this channel here recently is ripping through some older Bowman so we'll take it one pack at a time nice and easy and see if we can find a nice unstained Griffey. I'll show the reprint first from now on. And it does note that it is a reprint right there. And if you're curious right there, it is, it'll say Mickey Mantle where it says Ted Williams right here, Mickey Mantle right there. So in case you are trying to figure out who you're looking at. That is a good quick reference. There's the Fernando Mania, Daryl Strawberry, McGuire, Upside Down, Floyd Yeoman, everything's upside down. Because I did not flip them correctly. The huge spectacles of Ron Kittle and Juan Bell. So nice little start for me to go through this box. It's not a huge set, about 400 and I think it was 84 cards. I think it's what the set was. So it's not a huge set. And the reprint once again is Mickey Mantle. Steve Bedrosian, Willie McGee, Tom Herr, Mike Jackson, there's Barry Bonds, nice Barry Bonds, Rob Deere, the strikeout king of the late 80s, early 90s. It's been a long time since I've opened 89 Bowman packs, which is Part of the reason I decided to go ahead and rip it.
that Pee Wee Reese, Gil Hodges, Ozzy Smith. So we got a nice Hall of Famer there, future Hall of Famer, Ruben Sierra. Kirby Puckett, Hall of Famer. So, a couple Hall of Fame hits in that pack. But none of the key rookies yet, but it's still very early. The Wax Stain. We do have the Wax Stain, you can see, right there on the Ozzy Guillen card. There's Duke Snyder. Reprint. Harold Reynolds. Oh, there he is. First rookie hit, Tino Martinez. So that is the first of the, I guess, big four, I should say, in this set. Now we will go ahead and use the reference for people who do not have 89 Bowman cards, you can see that the card will stick out of the sleeve. And put it in the top loader, which will fit it. So you see that it will fit the top loader that has been adjusted over the years. But you can keep your rookie box just the same size with the top loader. So Tino Martinez goes in the top loader. And we continue the search. Another Mickey Mantle reprint. 1951. There's Roger Clemens. Robin Ventura. Bob Walk. And Chuck Krim. Kept wanting to say Chris Krim. Knew that wasn't correct. Jimmy Key is on the back of this one. And Bob Boone. Jackie Robinson reprint from 1950. Benito Santiago. Pasqua. Bobby Bowe. Jimmy Key, there's the Bob Boone. There's the Alomars, Roberto Sandy and Sandy. And then it tells you about Sandy Alomar, the coach, and his son, Sandy Alomar. And there's Burt Blylevin, Greg Olson. I believe that's Greg Olson's rookie as well. And who could forget the great photo of Rico Bronia? Just looks so lost in that picture. Rico Bronia. I don't know that guy. I think he took another picture in another set as well that was pretty similar to that one. All right, another Mickey Mantle reprint. Brian Downing. He has some good power numbers. Gary Carter, Dave Schmidt, Alex Trevino. There's the Stottlemyers, it looks like. Todd Mel, Mel Stottlemyer, the coach, and Joey Meyer, who I do not remember at all. 
I've had a lot of bad luck ripping my boxes and pulling the main rookie card that I need to pull out of these boxes, but I think I've got it. <laughs> I just saw a glimpse of the top right corner of this card right there, and that sure does. Ah, oh, I just saw this. Very, very similar pose to the King Griffey Jr. Dave Valley. So I thought I saw it. David Cohn. There's McGuire. Jack McDowell. There's the Nolan Ryan. Nice one there. Julio Franco. And just a tease. As you see the Griffey right there. They had the same, well, the same sort of pose. Rock Reigns is on the back. The reprint, once again, is Ted Williams. Oh, Von Hayes. Charlie Huff throwing his patented knuckleball which allowed him to play forever. Rock Reigns Hall of Famer. Greg Swindell. Glorious Greg Swindell. And Sid Fernandez finishes off that one. Continuing the search for three more rookie cards. Off to a Slow start, but we're only about a quarter of the way through. There is the Whitey Ford reprint. First time seeing that one. Gene Larkin. And you do get some random see stain right there. So Jose Uribe. Storm Davis. Spent time with the Orioles as well. There's a Cal Ripken. Nice Cal Ripken right there. Always enjoy pulling a freshly out of a pack Cal Ripken card. That still never gets old to me to this day. Ted Williams once again. Thug Drabeck. Looks like Craig Lefferts. There's Lou Whitaker who signed his card. Sweet Lou. These are facsimile autos, not actual autos. In case you guys are wondering. Bob Melvin. Mitch Williams. There's Rafael Palmero. Doyle Alexander. And once again, we are foiled. Larry Sheets is on the back. Had a couple Larry Sheets autos back in my day. Jackie Robinson once again. Spike Owen. Greg Maddox. Nice. What, third year Maddox, I guess that is. There's the Larry Sheets off cut. Pretty bad. Chris Bazio. And nobody to really speak of in that pack. So we're getting close down to the halfway point and we're still missing the gum stuck to that one. We're still missing three of the key rookie cards. Willie Mays, first time seeing that reprint. 1951 Bowman. Donnie Baseball. And there is the Roberto Alomar. I thought I I thought I had a smaltz, but again. Oh, look at this glorious picture. Is that Pat Sheridan? Yeah, I don't think it is. That is epic. Great photo right there. Danny Gladden finishes off that pack. Bryn Smith on the back. Duke Snyder once again. I don't know how many of those inserts there are, but definitely hitting a, flu a few of those. A flu. I was going to say Floyd Bannister. 
Ron Robinson, always looking very red. I think that, I think that particular uniform really did not do him any favors because if this guy would have worn the same uniform, he would have been the same way. Brian Smith, Portugal, Mark Langston, Ernest Riles, and once again, still no Smoltz, no Sheffield, no Griffey. A lot of gum that will last far longer than any of us on this planet. I believe this gum will go down. It will survive the end of the world. Paul Molitor, first time seeing that card. Sutcliffe. So we're getting some different cards here. Maybe we will find... Oh, Chris Sabo. The epic Chris Sabo no specs. Of course, no specs in the 89 bonus set. The specs that made him absolutely... I'm not afraid to say a legend. He was definitely a legend. You always knew where he was on the field. Ed, or Ed, Whitey Ford. Nobody ever called him Ed Ford. There it is. There we go. The Griffey has been pulled, and it is centered so nicely. No staining. Very clean looking. Oh, as some people like to say, a PSA 10. Pack pulled. I would never say that because I know how this works. The centering is pretty, pretty nice. So that's what I wanted for my rookie box. I do keep my Bowman and Tops rookies. So there we are. Nice Griffey rookie card. As I put him, let's put him right here. We'll leave Tino Martinez just off the screen. As he is not the one of the key key rookies. But that is a nice card. Fred McGriff. Let me get this back on screen. Charlie Huff again. Dave Stewart always looking so menacing. But he really wasn't. He just looked that way. And we have a Griffey. Now, Smoltz and Sheffield are the two chase cards. Because asking for a second Griffey is just being greedy. As the guy with the name that I hate to say, Mike Pagliarulo. Yep, I did it for you. Bobby Thigpen, Tom Browning, Pete Harnish, Pete Stanisek, no idea who that is. Steve Lyons, Lance Parrish. So we are halfway home on our rookie front. And over halfway on the box, the late Mike Flanagan. Rest in peace to Mike Flanagan. The second time I think we've pulled the Gil Hodges card there. Terry Pendleton, first time seeing him. Looks like Wally Joyner. Chet Lemon, Pedro Guerrero. Tom Lawless, Ricky Henderson right there with the Yankees. Ricky was always hard to keep up with in these sets because nobody really knew what team Ricky was on. He was on so many teams for a Hall of Fame player. He bounced around a lot with the Blue Jays, the Yankees, the, of course the Oakland A's, the Padres. Um... I think he played with the Mets for a little bit. Willie Mays. There's Jeff Ballard. Mike Scott. Dale Murphy. Hopefully one day Hall of Famer. Jim Rice, who is a Hall of Famer. 
Bruce Jacoby, Andre the Hawk Dawson, Edgar Martinez, so a couple Hall of Famers, Jerome Walton, that would have been huge. Oh, Jerome Walton. Man, that would have been the biggest rookie card pull right there. Oh, a lot of a lot of Jerome Walton hype back in 1989, that is for sure. I think he was rookie of the year, matter of fact, in 1989 or 90. I guess it was I guess it would have been 89. So he did originally live up to the hype, but longevity wise, he did not. Dick Schofield, Frank White, Dave Henderson, Tim Wallach. Still looking for the Smaltzy. No, we got a second Ron Kittle. Good Lord. Chuck Finley, Chuck Nasty. He was a really good pitcher. And McCray, Hugh Walker. Man, when you can't read their signatures, it is glorious when I try to guess. And don't be mistaken, it is a guess. Oh, the first Yogi Berra reprint. First time seeing this one. Yogi Berra, 1948 Bowman. Ellis Burks again, Paul O'Neill. Todd Benziger, there is the Griffey's card. Ken Sr. and Jr. First of many of those. And Jim Abbott, rookie card. I guess you would consider that a rookie card. I would. Jim Abbott, very solid career for a pitcher. And he was, of course, one-handed. Surprise, I've said it before. That there's not an, a movie been made about him. Oral Hershiser is the back card. And just to make up for our lack of Yogi Berra in the beginning, we got Yogi Berra. Oh, Greg Jeffries. Look at this iconic card. That would have been another monster back in the day. Carlton Fisk, Dave Parker. There's the Oral Hershiser. Gary Reedus, easy name to read there. Rick Russell. And still missing the Sheffield and the Smoltz. Time to fix that right now. We gotta get one of those very soon. Oh, nice. Will Clark coming up. Robin Yount. Jesse Orozco, Pep Tabler. There's the Ripken card. Very nice. Cal Sr. with Billy and Cal. Frank Viola. Richie Ashburn. First time seeing the Richie Ashburn card. 1949 Bowman. I got to pull that out because I've been putting them in one stack. There's the Thrill. Willie. Carney Lansford. Danny Jackson and Dave Magadan finishes that pack off. I will definitely have to sort through the wax and gum stains. I try to keep my cards in the binder as clean as possible. Whitey Ford again. There's Frank Tanana. There's the Sheffield, finally got a hit on the Sheffield rookie. He is off left to right, but sharp corners on him. So three rookies down, one lone rookie to go. But I feel like with most of these Bowman boxes being the I guess being the uh, small print run of 484 cards, that uh, is the norm to get each one. 
So we'll see if we get the Smoltz, Vance Law. Bob Walk again. And we are getting down to the final packs in this break. So I appreciate you guys checking this out. And I'm sure many of you have ripped the 89 Bowman yourself or have seen it open many times. There's the first satchel page. That is a rookie card I would still like to get. 1949 Bowman. Of course, I'd like to get his Orioles card. He was part of the Orioles organization. Very old when he pitched in the majors. Pete and Cavillia, first time seeing him, and Steve Finley. I think that's Finley's rookie card. Yep. Steve Finley, he was a pretty solid player, too. Oberfell. And there is Billy Bean, our buddy Bell. Steve Avery. Man, I am just guessing at some of these autographs. Greg Gagney. And another Whitey Ford reprint. So Matt Noakes. Charlie Lee Brent. There's Barry Larkins. First time seeing him. This card has always creeped me out. He's like, what are you looking at? Eric Schell. Kelly Gruber. Mookie Wilson, Scott Bankhead. I have met this guy at the post office. He uh, is friends with my postmaster. He's actually teaching or coaching my postmaster's kid, and he's a pitching coach for him. So it was very spur of the moment I walked in and was talking to the postmaster and he said something like hey do you know Scott Bankhead and I was like I know a pitcher from back in the day that named Scott Bankhead he said well that's him <laughs> it's got a little indentation on this card see it even though it's pack pulled happens Alan Trammell BJ Serhoff another big one back in the day Ty Griffin and Jamie Quirk where is Smoltzy move uh, Abbott and Greg Jeffries I almost said Costello to the top another Willie Mays Let's see if we can find the Smoltz and complete it. Keith Hernandez. Vince Coleman. First time seeing him. Sid Fernandez and Robin Ventura looking almost fake. It almost looks like a really old photo of Robin Ventura. Which I guess now we're looking at 30 plus years on these cards, so... I guess they are technically becoming an old photo. So Tom Glavin's on the back. That'd be his second year. Another mantle reprint. Kelly Downs. Pascal Perez. Teddy Higuera. Gary Gaetti. Kevin Elster. Juan Samuel. Darnell Coles. Tom Needenfewer, and there is the Glavin. Second year Glavin. But very nice. <coughs> First Bowman for Tom Glavin, of course, because they did not have Bowman for many years before this 1989 release. Richie Ashburn. Reprint. Eric Davis. J. 
Jerry Royce. There's Harold Baines. So, a Hall of Famer, a couple Hall of Famers. Jack Morris, Willie Randolph, Bill Duran, and Rick Roden. So, we're down to the, getting down to the bottom row here of this box. Still in search of the John Smoltz rookie. And another Yogi Berra. I think we may have hit all these reprints. Lee Smith. First time seeing Lee Smith. Dennis Martinez. So a couple of new cards here. Maybe. Just maybe. Oh, there's Sabo again. And Greg Swindell again. So it started off promising. And now we are going to struggle Dan Plesak, first time seeing his card, I believe. Another mantle reprint. I do that every time. Vince Coleman, Lee Smith again. Zane Smith. There's the Eck. Dennis Eckersley, Joe Carter. Walt Weiss. John, not so smiley. He always looked stoned in his pictures. So three packs are remaining in this box. Brian Downing is on the back and I have a huge stack of wrappers. Huge stack of wrappers. Yogi Berra, Randy Myers, Dwight Evans. Ah, oh, they just came collapsing down. I was wondering how high I could stack them before they came crashing down around me. Will we find the John Smoltz and complete the rookie? Wow. What a picture right there. Stan Royer. Never heard of you. Mel, Mel Stoudemire finishes that off. So two packs remaining. I'll go ahead and get this box out of my way. And we will find out together if we are going to find the John Smoltz. Try something different here. Terry Kennedy, Dave Winfield, first time seeing him and Ron Darling and Rick Dempsey. A run of new cards, Sean Dunstan. Jose Canseco. Ah, oh, Gary Carter, Scott Bradley. Ah. Oh. Last pack. Come on, Smolty. Where you at, buddy? Spanky Lavalier is on the back. First time seeing his card. Leroy Satchel Page. Greg Gagney. Chili Davis, Jeff Reardon, Jay Buhner, Mike Lavalier. Come on, where you at? John Candelaria. Oh, Wade Boggs. No, John Smoltz. Oh, but still cannot be disappointed. I got three of the best ones, and the Griffey is pretty, pretty nice. No staining. Corners look pretty decent. And the centering is pretty good too. So definitely will make a new home in my rookie box. The Ken Griffey Jr. So that was awesome. I love ripping these old Bowman. So thank you guys for watching. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of 89 Bowman. Just leave me a comment about anything. Love talking sports, love talking baseball, football, whatever the case may be. So, till next time, later guys.